What's up guys, Evans B here. I'm taking you again, again, what am I doing in my life? I'm taking you again behind the scenes with another video. Uh, right now I'm all packed and ready. It's about 10.24 uh, a.m. We're gonna go crush another uh, fitness shoot. Well, this time I'm gonna do some more sporty stuff. So I have a hockey player lined up. I have a rink booked and I have an assistant booked also. So I'm gonna pack the car and get going. Shut off that music, leave me home, now heading back to pick up my assistant and see you in a few bit. I think that's it. I think that's it. One eternity later. Okay, so in that shot, um, you'll see the first test that we did. Uh, we first we first started using the PLM from Palsy Buff, which is a modifier that I use really, really, really often, especially when I'm in the studio. Just like one big broad light, it uh, it does the job. I would say 80% of the time, it just does whatever it needs to do. It's a broad source. It's uh, it looks good. Everyone looks pretty much good using that specific light source, but. Um, you'll see that my few tests, I'm not really happy with the way it looks. Um, the, this, the audio from this is really saying that I don't like the way it looks. So I'm going to change it to a smaller source. Uh, this, that smaller source, I actually like it better because it just controls the light. It's a recessed Octobox from um, Palsy Buff. I just like the way it looks. It really looks good. Uh, it tends to make uh, light less spread all over but really more controlled which is something i really appreciate um, especially with that situation and also thinking back to my old shoot uh with the uh, ski thing it's really to keep a consistency in the way i lit stuff so i was using the sun as a source light a source of light and then that modifier so i think keeping it the same is just a better way and also in that part of the video, you'll see me uh, actually, again, lying down on the floor and taking that shot. The reason why I mainly do this is because I really like the effect that it has um, using a wide angle lens. Plus, um, like, I mean, being down on the ground, it really makes it look much, much more better. So people look taller and then using a distortion of the lens at the, at the ends of the lens, it just makes people like stretch a bit more. A bigger head usually is a, like a longer head usually is a better looking head. The, the person looks like a hero instead of just a regular person in an environment. That's why I usually go very, very low and to use the defect of the lens to our advantage. But this is cold. This is really, really cold. This is not comfortable at all. I mean, 10 minutes is fine, but then I spent like 25 minutes in there. It was not comfortable. But again, sacrifice to win, sacrifice to get the shot. Remember this. This is really important information that I'm sharing right now. Sacrifice to win. Also, the reason why I like that Palsy Buff Octobanks, as I mentioned before, is because it's easily modifiable and then actually you can boom it really easily. Um, with the with the other uh, modifier, the PLM, um, like I mean, it has to be put upside down and then it has to be manipulated this way, and then it can actually spin around. With this, it pretty much stays the same. Gravity helps it keep keep it down, and that recessed light and that double diffused light is just awesome. So I just really like the way it looks, and I tend to gravitate towards this modifier a lot. And keeping a consistent, keeping consistency in my shoot. Uh, let's say I did the ski one, and it was I use the same modifier and using the sun. Uh, right now I'm faking the sun by using two strobes on this, each side of the subject to make it pop a bit more and to create separation from the subject. So this is really awesome, and I really appreciate it. And I should shut down my phone because this is unprofessional at all. So as you can see, uh, Sasha is booming the light over the model, so it creates a better light, and then it's also uh, creating a big spread. And that recessed light just like really envelops the subject without um, being spread everywhere, which is the issue with the PLM, is that since it's a really broad, broad light, um, keeping control of it is really difficult. That's why using a smaller modifier uh, to keep control of the light 
keep the subject written completely from A to Z, but uh, not spilling everywhere so that uh, the entire actually arena is written for that one light. of the church of people that um, whenever I know I get the shot like at least like three or four of them I'm not gonna go further and then reshoot because again this is an uncomfortable situation and also I was pressed with time I only had the arena for the for one hour and a half if I had three hours then I would have been more comfortable and taking more of my time and thinking about it but the fact that I have such short time to perform the fact that I had such a short time to perform and do that shoot I had to make a decision like I mean I get shot that are decent enough and I can live with them I'll live with them especially with the time given um, on a shoot and then you know budget is running out and then it's that's coming out of my own pocket because it's my own shoot and I'm doing this for YouTube and not for a client so if I had the client then I wouldn't take more time just to make sure I get the crisp prop but this is perfect this is really for me and not for anyone else so I'm taking my budget seriously I'm not rich yet so I'm being careful um, so one hour and a half to do I had in sh I had in mind actually only two shots that's all I wanted is really two solid shots the rest it can all be gravy shots okay So the second shot that I had in mind, uh, except for the hero one, is the action shot. So you'll see the model actually skating through the rink, and then there is he going. Sasha is actually following him with the light, so that makes it really interesting. Uh, you can actually see uh, him moving around, and then uh, whenever he's uh, taking a spin or doing a circle around the ice, you can actually see Sasha uh, lying around. And at a certain point, I realized that uh, my Godox 8600 um, was actually the flash duration, so the amount of time that the flash and the light is being spread was a bit too long compared to the Einsteins, which are killer for this. They're really, really short, so they're really amazing. They can really freeze the action. Uh, Godox are great at higher sync speeds, so let's say like 1,000, 1, 4,000, 1, 8,000, 1, 1, 1,000, but at lower sync speed at 1, 250, compared to the Einsteins, they're really, really slow. So I had to remove it uh, in order to not get ghosts in my photos. I'll show you in a sample. I'll show you a sample of ghosting in that image right now. Right now I got everything I needed uh, as to the action so I had about 10 minutes to do another shot so we set up quickly. Uh, you can see I put a strip box behind and I asked the player to actually break like I do a severe break in front of the net and in front of the light. So I sacrificed my light just a little bit for the shot. It's equipment, it's not a baby. So I sacrificed this uh, just to get the shot, it, it looks really cool. Uh, I can't wait to show it to you in a few minutes. So it's a wrap on this famous shoot. It's been kind of hellish because I only had one hour and a half. And yeah, that's what the budget allowed for today. 
So that's it. Uh, I'm gonna show you around. And I forgot to take some plates, so I'm gonna plate it right now because Sasha will not be happy with me. <laughs> uh, that's it. And this pretty much wraps it. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this shoot or if you have anything, uh, let me know in the comments uh, if you have any questions about it. I'll be posting the pictures on my social media, so just make sure you follow me on Instagram and Behance and on Facebook. And also, uh, if you liked whatever I just shot or the explanation that I just gave, uh, just make sure to like and subscribe to that YouTube channel. That's going to help me a lot. And also, if you're interested in purchasing the gear that I'm currently using, I posted all the links below in the comments. So, cheers. I uh, hope you're having a great week. Uh, I'm trying to crush it as much as possible. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers and good luck. <music>